the interesting thing with fear is that it's by far the number one biggest handicap we humans are born with. Football is supposed to be fun, but we hear about more and more young players who feel that they play extremely well at training and then don't perform at the same level in matches because they feel the pressure and are afraid of making mistakes. I've tried it myself, and if you're like that as well, today I'll give you some advice on what you can do to get over fear and be more confident when you're playing football. We'll split it into two areas, mental and practical, that you can work on in order to boost that self-confidence. So make sure you've subscribed and let's go. Because the worst thing you can do when you go on the pitch is to be afraid. Afraid to mess up or afraid to make the wrong decision and who knows, maybe then even cost your team a goal. Maybe you care a lot about what other people think about you, but if you're just looking to survive when you go onto the pitch and get it over with, you make it 10 times harder for yourself. Because if you play with fear, you won't go for goal, won't try the dribble, won't go for the optimistic passes and will just play a safe negative game. So let's try and see how to get rid of that fear. The first thing you can do is to deal with your mistakes by accepting them. Not that you should live with screwing up and it's great to demand a lot from yourself, but you making a few mistakes shouldn't ruin your entire game. But don't stop playing. Don't run around sulking and start making excuses because nothing good will come of that and your teammates will most likely get annoyed and maybe shout even more at you, which in the end will only make you doubt yourself even more. Instead, you need to show yourself and your teammates that even if nothing else works, you'll fight as hard as you can for the team in order to be an asset. You can analyze your mistakes later, so forget them when you're on the pitch, buckle up and work even harder. And then it's important that you remember that you failed because you tried. You had the courage to try because you're a good player. Your self-image is extremely important because if you knock yourself down every time you make a mistake, you'll see yourself as the player who always screws up. And if you do that, how are your teammates supposed to see you any different? No, instead see yourself as a player who is brave enough to try risky things, who's confident and who learns from your mistakes. And finally, if you are a little insecure, be positive even when others make mistakes. Sure, it's an easy win to shift the focus onto someone else screwing up, but at the end of the day, being negative and shouting at your teammates isn't very constructive. Instead, encourage them to get back up and try again, and there's a good chance that they'll then change their tone towards you when you make mistakes as well. But there are also practical things you can do to improve your confidence. And the first thing is repetition. See, repetition creates muscle memory. You don't have to worry about tying your shoes or taking a sip of water because you've done it a million times before. So if there are things you want to be better at, repeat them over and over and over again. Because when the time then comes, you react on instinct. And even if there's still a little bit of fear left in you, it won't have time to affect you because you've already done it. But if all this mental work and repetition hasn't quite been enough and you're still in the match feeling a lack of confidence and a little bit of fear, you can turn to looking at getting easy wins. Set yourself a goal, whether that's nailing the next five passes, beating an opponent, win the next physical duel, or something very specific that you can easily achieve. Because getting easy wins will build your confidence, meaning that you can focus a little more on being a good teammate, on communicating and trying more audacious stuff. Because a win is a win, no matter what. So even if they're easy wins, take them if you need to boost your confidence a bit more in the next games. So in other words, guys, playing with fear can really cripple you as a football player. But if you remember to deal with your mistakes well, get a better self-image, go for the easy wins and do a ton of repetitions, I hope that you'll eliminate a bit of the fear when you play. But do you have any advice or questions you want to share? Let us know down below. Go get a confidence boost by getting a new fresh pair of boots from Unisport in the link over there and learn how to improve as a football player in the playlist down in the corner. And with those words, guys, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.